welcome to episode 3 of Double F's. Let's play. And whoa, behind us we have a burning man. Burning man! Or rather, a burning zombie. So, yeah, anyway, as you can see, I've been playing off camera a little bit. Um, you can see the forest behind me has been quite deforested. Uh, our little friend in the tree is still there, a sheepy. And you can see that just behind me I've laid out the foundations for the lake house. I haven't done this bit on camera because it's it would just take him too long to to film and explain as I was doing this because obviously on creative mode on survival mode, sorry, you keep sinking and obviously you keep running out of air, so I'll give you a quick mini two of that. But also just over here behind me, um I've started mining down to gather some resources. So I'm just going to show you the little mine shaft I built, just to show you that all the resource gathering has been legit. So if you follow me here, oh, we actually went all the way down to bedrock, and along the way I couldn't help but succumb to my curiosity because the last couple of times we've been over the lake, um, we've heard like cavern sounds. So Originally I started up here, there was nothing, but I continued, so I came down a bit further this way and started mining in again, because I knew, I mean, I kept hearing these cavern sounds every time I went over the lake, so I knew there must be something somewhere underneath there. So we carry on this way, a little bit, leave it there. no, Going from there, to the oh yeah, we also went to the jungle and I got ourselves some jungle wood, which I've used to make stairs, because I think I'm going to use these for... There you go, you hear that? That's the cavern sound we've been hearing. Hmm, interesting. And also I've managed to make some smooth sandstone as well, which I didn't really realize you could make. I always used to think you used to have to mine it out of temples, but... I was messing around and I learned that, obviously, if you know that... Four blocks of sand give you sandstone, but then... If we get four blocks of sandstone and put them together like this, it gives you smooth sandstone. And I think if we do that... Okay, so four smooth sandstone gives us four smooth sandstone. I thought there was a way of making chiseled sandstone, maybe? Maybe I've got to make sandstone slabs. Maybe now. Oh, there you go, you see? So you can also make chiseled sandstone, which is the decorative sandstone. So you don't actually have to wait till you find yourself a desert temple to to get these resources. You can actually make them yourself with sand. And if you find yourself a desert, well, you've got a hell of a lot of sand. So if we got carry on um, going this way, this is what I think is responsible for all the cavern sounds we've been hearing. And we've got ourselves a nice little... I uh, can't really... Eh, eh. Is there somewhere I can look down properly to show you? No, wait, I'm going to mine this off a second. There we go. Hold down the shift key. So yeah, we've got a nice little ravine, which I really want to explore. Uh, we're not going to be doing that in this episode, but I will be exploring this with you guys. And hopefully we'll find another abandoned mine shaft. Oh, there's a creeper down there. Just make sure I don't let go of the shift key, otherwise we're definitely going to die. So yeah, in a, in a future episode we'll be exploring this together. Hopefully we'll be able to find some diamonds and stuff down there. I'm not really sure how deep that is. But hopefully it's deep enough. So yeah, we, we just continue our little mine tour. Do, 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 do. Yeah, um, obviously as you see all this mining, I've got all the, the stone resources we need for... Um, for building these stairs because it's so annoying to keep jumping up and down so I use a lot of the stone to build the stairway down and we also found a fair amount of iron which is how we got fully kitted out in this pimp out whoa this pimp outfit I go with my cross-eyed look James has said I can pick my look so I've chosen derp eyed so hopefully that will be coming soon and right around here believe we re yeah here we go we reached the bottom here and I don't know where but there must be another dungeon or it links up to 
that area we, we just I just showed you up there because whenever I'm down here I keep hearing skeleton and zombie sounds and it makes me incredibly uneasy especially because it doesn't matter how many torches you seem to put up it always seems really dark down on these levels oh bit of lag there and here we had a bit of lava but nothing else I thought that was the beginning of a cabin or a dungeon but no and I still haven't found a single diamond I mean come on man all this mining so you can uh, obviously as I was saying before this isn't the sort of stuff I would really want to show on camera whilst doing this because it would just be so boring and yet here we run into lava as well hence a sign don't really want to take that block off again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the surface and I'll meet you guys there so yeah welcome back we're back in the little shack thing made some minor adjustments we've got a bigger chest and some more furnaces and we've done some organizing this is where I keep my tools and my weapons uh, so just makes everything a little bit easier to organize myself before we go off and build uh, a lot of the resource we got we also managed to get some redstone and I went off exploring behind um, the hills over there and there was a swamp in which I've managed to get some slime balls so we'll be able to make ourselves some sticky pistons for uh, I've got them planned to to be used in a uh, what's the word automatic perhaps an automatic farming system I've also got plenty of redstone so we're sorted there nice amount of iron and some gold but like I said before not one single not one single damn piece of diamond so yeah, um, when I was showing you earlier how to make these different kinds of sandstone uh, I also forgot to mention if you get normal stone as well and you place four blocks like this you can make yourself stone bricks and again I was under the impression for some reason that you could only get these from mining in dungeons now, I don't know if that's an, a, an update or something but I seem to uh, like I said I see I really seem to recall you could only get these when you went off mining in in dungeons and stuff so but you can make them perhaps I'm just being a noob um, can you make decorative ones as well let's try make slabs here we can make a slab and if we put two on top no 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 okay no I thought maybe we could make uh, the broken ones as well but that might only be a creative thing so anyway let's clear our inventory out a bit In order to build the house, I'm going to get a workbench. Huh. Get a workbench. I want to make some ovens, but we can do that whilst we're actually there. Got a sword, a pick. Pick's seen better days, doesn't it? I'll take an iron one as well, just in case. Shouldn't really need too much of the spade. In fact, we'll, we'll repair the spade before we go. <coughs> I like to recycle my tools. I don't really like using them until they, they actually break. So yeah, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to catch some shut eye and we're going to go off and finish building that lake house. So as you can see, this is so much easier to actually travel through. And eventually what I think I'm going to do is we're going to fill this in and use this as farmland because I really want this to be the approach to the house. Let's gather this, these reeds for now. Got plenty of reeds, plenty of pumpkins as well. They seem to grow so quickly. So anyway, before I start building the, the house up, what I wanted to show you was um, how it's supported. So it's very simple. It's just two blocks of stone and then if you can just about see I put stairs all the way around to create this sort of a beveled edge and then I filled in all the middle with uh, wooden blocks so it, it looks like it's supported on these four big pi uh, pillars oh where is that coming from hmm. 
Maybe it's come from underneath us again. So this is quite a small house, but it should be more than enough for, for this stage. And it should fit in quite nicely with the, the surrounding areas. Also, it means we'll be nice and safe, because once we put a, an edge, a fence edge, all the way around this, um, and, it's, and it'll be well lit, so we won't actually have any nasty spawn, spawning up here. And then there'll be one entrance, which will be this way. So it'll be nice and secure. So this house at the moment is just a 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, it's 6 deep by 12 wide. So it's, yeah, it's going to be two floors, and I'm going for quite a rural look. So I'm just going to go filling these bits in. And I've probably forgotten to bring... Oh, no, I've got them here. <laughs> I saw that one on my inventory and I had a bad feeling I hadn't actually brought any more of them with me. So, yes, yeah, so we want that one there. And that one there. We can do the, the bit that goes around the door on this wood as well. Uh, and there. And there. Yeah, that'll do the trick. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be our kitchen in here. And I think I'm going to go for the workbench there, and then here we'll have two ovens and probably a food chest over here. So I'm just going to go do the ovens first. Um, I, when I'm playing in survival mode, because you don't really want to waste your time and build something and then take it all to pieces again, I like doing the, the floor pan first before I finish building up just to make sure that there's no major adjustments you know when you're playing on on creative mode it doesn't really make a difference because you can very quickly and very easily just erase what you've done but not when you're playing survival and you you, you know i might spend ages doing this and then go ah oh, damn it it's all wrong and i'll have to actually start breaking it bit by bit again so i've already laid this out on on a piece of graph paper so i kind of know what i'm doing but not all the details, some of them will be decided as we go along. So I'm just going to go filling this in. Now this is a handy little tip. Um, it's a bit of a noob tip, so you, most of you may have already seen this. But in Minecraft, you can, uh, when you're playing survival mode, you can reach three blocks there. So what I normally do is I go to the first corner of where I'm building, jump up three blocks, hold the shift key, and <laughs> I've gone one too high. Damn it. Okay. One, no, oh, damn it. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> one, two. I'm sure it was three. One, two, three. No, maybe it's three on sub. Maybe it's three on creative mode. Yeah, it's probably three on creative. Oh, damn it. It'll be three on creative mode, but two. One, one two on survival. So just hold shift hold your right mouse button and you can just go across so anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this up to the desired height and I'll join you guys shortly so welcome back I've built the lake house up a bit as you can see there behind me instead of going for cobblestone I didn't really like how it looked on this um, default texture pack so what I've gone on and done is I've made those stone bricks like I showed you a bit earlier and I think it looks a little bit better We've also gone for these beams that go right across, which I think will really help give it a rural characteristic. So I'm just going to give you a quick little tour around. Change the view. Yeah, I also... Sorry, just before we carry on, what I also did was I cleared out a bit of this part of the lake bed. Just to make sure that none of the zombies or creepers could hop on. Uh, obviously this is just here, just for, for me at the moment. But I think it's starting to look quite nice in this... In this sort of uh, this sort of build with these mat uh, materials, um, I haven't gone for big windows because I'll show you now from the inside. I'd like to put some picture frames here with some items or some paintings. So we go in through here. Uh, we've got a similar sort of layout to what we had in the what we have in the shack over there. Uh, over there, it's got a nice big chest. Obviously, it's empty. Eventually, this is going to be. Damn, 
zombie noises. We're really going to have to sort something about that dungeon down there because how on earth are we going to sleep with all that noise? We're also going for these, um, like I said before, these beams around the outside give it quite a rural feel on the inside as well. And down here we're going to have some extra storage. So yeah, it's pretty basic, pretty small, but it's going to house everything we need. Uh, this is what I was saying from the outside. Um, if we made these full windows, I wouldn't be able to put any anything in the the actual wall, like any dec decorative pieces. Whereas now with these blocks here, it gives me a bit of space to play around with. And I've built this very small, little spirally sort of staircase. And our bedroom will be on here. We'll have nice panoramic views of the of our whole little lake area. That sheep is still there. Surprised he hasn't jumped down yet. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building the roof. And how I normally do this is I go one in from the edge and go across. So we do this. Then we go one in again. And this is actually going to be quite a small roof because it's not a very wide build. Hmm. Not sure how that's going to look. Well, we'll give it a go anyway. So the same again. We go one in. And one in again. Yeah. We get our jungle wood stairs, which are the ones we're going to use. We're going to hold shift and hopefully not fall down while we do this. And there we go. One, two, three. Now the same again on the other side. Okay. One, two, three. And we're going to go copy this exact same pattern over here. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's going to work my way across now here. And I'm going to do the same on the other side and I'll get back to you shortly. Welcome back. So I've finished the house. I've got the roof up. As you can see behind me there, uh, wait, yeah, you can sort of see behind me there. Um, the exterior of the house is now finished. Uh, we ran into a bit of a boo-boo. When I put the roof up, I realized that the, the build itself was far too narrow. So I've built this little replica that I'm standing on, because um, I demolished part of the old house and rebuilt it. But I wanted to show you exactly what had happened. As the house before was um, was only five wide, I believe, which is what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, it was six wide. So this is an exact replica of what the top floor up there would have looked like. Let's close this off so we don't get attacked by any creepers. And yeah, as you can see, this was far too narrow. Um, as we came in, it would have only had enough space for a double bed um, and a chest either side. And very claustrophobic. A second, I'll turn down the volume of the rain a bit. There we go. So, yeah, this was far too narrow. So, what I've had to do is I've had to widen the house a bit, which I'm going to show you now. Get rid of that. Like these as well, we're at it. So yeah, this, this dirt scaffolding is obviously going to come down. This is just um, what I used to go up and around the, the house itself while I was building it. And I also use it to put these upside down stairs on the end, which I think make the house look almost a bit asian -y or maybe a bit Viking-y, maybe. I don't know. But I quite like how it looks on the, the ends there. So yeah, we'll right, actually need to go up here for now. So the old house was six wide, so we never got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I extended it by a width of two, which also meant I had to extend this by width of two, because otherwise this um, edge was right up here against the wall, which didn't look right. So I've had to extend this pier or platform thingy by a width of two as well. And yeah, all this is going to have to come down. So I'll give you the tour inside for now. 
This is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, I've switched it around. Originally, we had the stairs going up this way, but the view out this way was so much nicer than the view is out there. I mean, this way all we saw was a great big mound of grey. You know, well, it's not what you want to see first thing in the morning. Fifty shades of grey when you look out your window. <laughs> Whereas I thought that this w this uh, wall here, having a nice large window like this actually had a, a nicer view, especially if we deforest this area a little bit it'll actually look uh, uh, quite a bit nicer so we come in here now this side, um, I haven't quite decided what's going to go here maybe some picture frames or maybe like do a little TV unit sort of thing, I don't know just decorative we've got a double chest under the stairs put some stuff away that's my attempt at a fridge for now, we need to put a stone button on there and our furnaces, workbenches, obviously our kitchen here. Here I want to put a cauldron. I haven't put the cauldron on yet because I wanted to show you guys how to make it just in case you haven't made one yourself. So all you need to do is make a big U out of iron. And there we go, we've got ourselves a cauldron. Now you use this for brewing which we'll cover in later episodes once we actually get to the nether and make ourselves a brewing stand. But in order to make that we're going to need to get a blaze rod and we will need to get into the nether for that. But you can fill this with water and it kind of looks quite nice in a, in a kitchen area. So if you make yourself a bucket, go fill her up. I think Mojang have fixed the way that water works, so no, it still makes a little awkward current thing there. Oh well, never mind, it won't bother me too much. And you can just fill her up. There you go, so that kind, kind of completes the kitcheny look. Eventually, like I said, I'll put a button on here as well. In fact, have we got any stone? Yeah, i got some stone. We'll make a button. Just need to put one stone. There you go. Looks a bit more fridge-like. See, so yeah, I've put the stairs on this side now. So if we go up, it's still kind of tight. But it's actually got that little bit extra room. And I've knocked a couple of these stair blocks out to put some like um, skylights in just to brighten the, the room up a bit because it was quite dark and we've also made ourselves some bookshelves just, so, just for decoration and it's starting to look quite nice now so I'll give you a quick little show on how to do the, the bookshelves just in case you're playing survival mode and you, you can't remember, you've never actually built them you need to build yourself some books first to build books you need to make yourself some paper which is made by putting three reeds across a line like that give you some paper and then to make a book I think it was two paper like that and one leather or leather and two paper or three paper three paper three paper to one leather so we make ourselves a couple of books oops yeah now we've got three books, we need some planks and all you have to do is make yourself a book sandwich oh, are you serious? I'm one wooden plank short just a second, let's see if I can yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll cut one plank for now we'll cut a plank for now, we'll, we'll put that back you need to make yourself a book sandwich like so and that makes yourself a bookshelf so we don't need any more at the moment we'll leave those books for enchanting and let's go put this back because that's really going to bother me uh, so what we'll do is I'll I'll go to sleep for now and then I'll show you Actually, no, we'll, we'll have a look at how this looks at night time from a distance. We'll climb that mountain in front of us. What I'll do is I'll climb the mountain, we'll have a... Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off all this scaffolding. This dirt scaffolding, so you can see how the house looks like without it. And then I'll join you at the top of that hill over there. We can get a, a good view of it. So I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, welcome back. As you can see, we're at the top of the the big hill or mountain uh, that you can see from the house and as you can see there oh, fell down. you can 
see there, the house is now complete, the little lake house. And it, I think that it fits quite nicely in the, into its surrounding area. It's not too big, it's not, it's dominating the lake, but not overly dominating it. And as you can see, I've built a little bridge to link it up to, to the mainland, because otherwise it's going to get really annoying if we have to keep swimming to and from the house. But as you can see, there's no other approach to it, so as long as it's well lit, no creepers, skeletons, or even spiders can, can approach it. So it's a pretty safe survival mode house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and show you a close-up of the bridge and the finished house and see what you guys think. So I'm just going to change my view again. There we go. Uh, that way. Try not to fall down and kill ourselves in the process. Yeah, this hill is really screaming out for a tower or something of some sort. Have to keep those possibilities open for future episodes. Like I said earlier as well, um, this this farm is eventually going to be moved to over here. I think this will be a nice little location for it. For now, here we go. We've got it locked off with a gate. So I've gone for birch wood on the bridge just to give it a little bit of contrast with the the rest of the house. And basically, it's just the birch logs with a half slab on top, some fencing. And that's it, this is the 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 outside complete. The inside still needs a little bit of work. See down in there it looks a little bit bare. But most of it's done now. If the lake would have been a bit bigger, or going out into open ocean perhaps, what I would have done is put a little pier here. And then a drop box with a, with a boat so we could go off and explore. But the lake literally just finishes just there and just there as it goes off camera. So yeah, this is the end of today's episode. Hopefully you liked it and you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please don't forget to click subscribe and like. Remember to tune into our regular builds where we'll be finishing Webbles and we've got some more projects lined up as well for once we finish that. Um, next week I'm going to tackle a hobbit hole. We're going to go off and look for a suitable area for that and we'll build it. Let me know how you prefer the, the build to go, if you want it to go like this where I build little bits on camera and then cut out and come back to you on camera or whether you'd actually like to see me build it all the way through or if you want it to be shown as a speed build. So yeah, you guys let me know how you prefer to see the, the builds. So that's it for now. See you guys next week. Bye bye. <laughs>